and the thing that we forget so much with Tiger, because he's been so superhuman, is that he is a human. He's a person. And, and having been through, you know, I quit the tour at 43 because I, I just couldn't stand to play golf anymore. I did not want to be there. I didn't have any trust in my ability, in my game at all. It was just a fight to get through the round. And then, and then when I played the Champions Tour, I played them. I have the chip yips. I have them. I have the putty nips. I have them. And I worked my way around. I won one time on the Champions Tour. I'm proud of that. But it's it's demoralizing when you have them because you can't do some of the things you did before. Mm-hmm. You can use experimentation. You can use imagination and find ways to chip okay. But if How'd you he do that? Them, How'd you do that? I, I started working on different ways of applying the club. My mental approach to it, I started not worrying about the ball. I started trying to make my hands do certain things, trying to make the club do things and forget about impact. I, I moved my focus where I always focused on impact and flight, and I had to take that away because if I focus on impact and flight, it goes like that. It goes off. I even chip. I have a left-handed wedge in my bag. I chip left-handed <laughs> something out there, so and, I'm not, not, and I'm not bad. I'm pretty good. You're not cured of it. I'm but, not cured of it, yeah. but, I can, but I can get around. But it's to moralizing it. And so until you've been there where, you know, where Ian Baker Finch, you know, where he was and those sort of things, it is so difficult to come back from. And and I worry that I hope that he's not there. I hope that he's not in that place because if he is, it's a, it's a dark look down to the bottom, down there to the bottom of your soul. 